Hello, the Darkness 344 here, and in today's video, we'll be going through deriving Boolean algebra from truth tables as well as from logic systems. So I'll basically run you through a um, well, at least the way that I've been taught um, of expressing Boolean algebra on uh, paper, and we'll go about um, like actually deriving it from truth tables as well as logic systems. So in this video, we'll have an example of a truth table as well as an example of some sort of um, logic system. Um, I'll just make one up and we'll go through how we can actually um, extract the Boolean algebra from it. And in the next video, I'm possibly planning um, to do some sort of simplification. So Boolean algebra simplification. It may be a two-parter. I haven't um, really planned that yet. But um, we'll basically be going on uh, the, the normal way we can simplify it. And then we'll also possibly go through Kana maps. So um, Kana maps with three inputs, Kana maps with four inputs. And we'll be basically going how you can, well, go from a truth table to a very simplified version of the algebra, which you then can turn into a logic gate. Well, a series of logic gates. So deriving Boolean algebra. Of course, um, in this video, we'll be covering from truth tables as well as um, from logic systems. And first of all, we'll just cover from truth tables. And this was the truth table um, we created in the last video. So the one where we created a um, truth table from a logic system, that was just the example. And over here, we have that logic system again. And of course, the truth table. So in this video, we'll be working um, backwards, basically. So we'll... Um, We'll have the table first, but we won't have the circuit. And then we'll create the algebra needed to create this circuit. But first of all, what is um, Boolean algebra? Well, it's basically a way of expressing our different uh, Boolean terms um, with just uh, symbols. So over here, we have a few different terms. So not, or, and an XOR, well, exclusive or, and we have their corresponding symbols. So a not is just a bar, and this will be a bar over um, whatever the, the letter is or the symbol or whatever so we just put a bar over so for instance if we had not a where typically a would just be like this not a would have a bar over like this now for or um, we use a plus symbol because of course it's basically addition then for and we use a dot um, sometimes you'll see people not always use the dot so sometimes so say a and b sometimes you'll also see this as a b because in, well, normal mathematic algebra, we, we use, or multi since it's multiplication, you don't always have to write A times B because this is the exact same as A, B. And this is the same with when it comes to brackets. So you can say A, B, or C like this. And normally you'd have the dot, but the dot's not always there. I prefer to have the dot just because um, it's a bit more visual and you can actually tell that they're separate things instead of maybe A, B is just one thing, you know, it's, it's easier to separate them like this. Then for the exclusive or, we of course have the or, but with a circle around it. So we can just type it like this. Now I've just got some examples of how it would look. So A with the bar on, um, A or B with just a plus, then and, so A dot B, so A and B or AB, uh, then exclusive or, so A exclusive or with the circle B. So going back to our um, truth table again, we're actually going to work through this and how we can actually, well, get the Boolean algebra out of this. So the first thing we're going to do is remove E and F because we don't actually need these. Because of course, in our last video, we only are focusing on the inputs and the outputs. All these um, intermediate states um, just aren't needed at all. So we can just get rid of them. We, are only, we only really need the inputs and outputs. So we've got our table over here with E and F removed. And now we're going to actually go through um, creating the Boolean algebra for it. So the first thing to do is, well, notice we have A, B, C, and Q. Well, these are our actual letters. And, um, well, algebra, you use letters, right? So for instance, we can do the same with Boolean algebra. So for instance, um, we can write Q equals. So Q equals, and then this will be a combination of A, B, and C. And it'll, whenever, they're, whenever Q equals one, we'll, we'll want to create an expression for it. So for instance, Q equals one for all of these over here, and Q also equals one over here. 
Now these ones over here in the middle are zero, so we can completely forget about these because they don't matter at all. Um, for all intents and purposes, we just ignore them because Q equals zero, so you don't want, if you include this, it's gonna break things. So you just, you just don't want this because Q would not equal these. Respect, well, of course, Q being our output and our output doesn't equal these combinations, so we just remove them. So now let's actually work through um, these ones over here. So first of all, um, when A, B, and C are all zero, Q is one. So how, how would we go about writing this? Well, um, typically, um, because they all have to be zero, we can express it like this, A and B and C equals Q. And of course, well, being zero, it would be not A, not B, and not C because if, if they were one, then it would just be, for instance, over here, C is a zero, so it'd be not C, but over here, C is a one, so it is um, just C. Now for the next line, um, it's not A and not B and C, so not A and not B and C equals Q. You, you don't really need to write this just, just for reference. Then the next one is not A and B and not C, if I can write C and that also equals Q. And over here we have not A as well as B and C. So now we can just work on the last one down here, which is A and B and C. So there we go, we have it now. And over here I've just basically written them out nicely so it's a bit easier to see. And of course these ones are not applicable because um, Q does, oh well, the output is a zero, so um, you don't use these at all. You only use the one where the output is a one. Now what we're going to need to do is because we have multiple, um, different ones, we can actually um, or them together. So because um, the output is either this combination over here, or this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, well, the way we just write this is one after the other with just the plus symbol or, or symbol. So we're going to write at the bottom, Q equals not A and not B and um, not C, or it equals not A and not B and C. And then for this one, we have um, not A and B and not C. Then for the one over here, we have not A and B and C. And the one at the very bottom is just um, A and B and C. You don't have to write these in alphabetical order. Um, most of the time you actually see it backwards. You normally see C and B and A because you're going from the least significant to the most significant. But um, in reality, this it doesn't matter because it's the same thing because we've used um, multiplication. Say um, two times three times four is the same as four times three times two. So then um, let's actually just see um, what this actually is, which of course is over here. And this is what we wrote. And so Q equals all of this. However, this is, well, a rather large um, circuit. And as we saw at the very beginning, it was only three logic gates. And now we're going to need, well, so eight not gates and then 10 and gates as well as four or gates. And this is all just accounting for if there are only two input gates. Of course, it might be a bit less, but that's still a massive amount of circuit. So the next video we'll be going, um, we'll just be simplifying these logic gates down because um, yeah, you, you don't want to do this. But yeah, that just goes back to the original circuit was only three logic gates. And of course, uh, we'll want to be able to simplify this down to at least three logic gates. So there we go, that's, that is our answer. Now we'll be covering Boolean algebra from logic systems. So this is where we actually have um, a logic system already, so like we had in the beginning, but we don't have a truth table and we wanna actually create the algebra from a logic system. So a very simple example is the original circuit over here. Um, we're just gonna turn it into Boolean algebra. So there are two main ways of doing this. You can either work forward, so from the inputs to the output, or you can work backwards from the output to the input. Both these ways work fine, but just for this video, I'll be working forward because it's just a tiny bit easier. It really doesn't matter and it's kind of personal preference. So first of all, um, we have our two main logic gates over here. Not A over here because of the not gate. And over here we have B and C. So first of all, we're going to do not A like this. And then for B and C, we're just going to add them. So that's B and C. So there we go. And then because we combine them in an OR gate, so the not input, so if we have E and then F over here, so E equals A, not A, and F 
equals this. So because Q would equal E or F, we can actually just substitute again. So Q will now equal not A or B and C. And you could put brackets around these, but because the, um, because the multiplication comes first and just uh, the way mass works, uh, you don't actually need the brackets. So there we go, Q equals not A or B and C. So now a slightly more complicated logic system. For this one, we're actually going to work backwards just to show you off the other technique. So starting over here at the very um, last bit, so uh, we have an OR gate, so we're just going to write a plus. And this is just the OR gate. And then of course we have A over here, and that's just one of the inputs, so we can just write A. Now for the other input, we actually have a NAND gate, and the way we do a NAND gate is, for instance, A, and AND B would be A and B, and then we put a bar over it. And then um, one of the future videos will also cover De Morgan's room, where, well, A and AND B is also A or B, so not A or B. And um, I'll just cover this in another video in the future, how this works. But for this video, we'll just do A, well, these ones, so um, an AND gate. So we're just gonna put our dot for the AND gate, and then we'll just put a bar over like this because we still have some other bits over here. So first of all, we'll just work on this input down here and we just have a NOT gate. So we'll have a, another bar like this and this one is actually from D over here. So all this would be over here is NOT D. So one of the inputs to this NAND gate is NOT D. The other input is actually two more logic gates. So over here we have an XOR gate, so or exclusive OR, and this is from B, exclusive OR, this logic gate over here. So the way we'll do this is just write B like this, and then we're going to do the exclusive OR symbol, so a cross with a circle round, and then uh, we have our AND gate over here, which is between C and B, so C and B, so we'll just write C and B. Of course you must remember to have your brackets around these, or else we're going to lead to some problems. So there we go, Q will equal A or not D, NAND, B, XOR, <laughs> Uh, C and B. So it's a bit of a mouthful. But yeah, this is what Q equals. So there we go, we've just written it like this. Uh, we may be able to get rid of some of the brackets as well, but I've just left them like this. Of course, this can also um, be simplified a bit further, but um, that'll be for the next video. So yeah, that's how we derive Boolean algebra from truth tables as well as logic systems. And um, well, that's at least how I was taught how to um, express Boolean algebra. There are also several other methods of expressing Boolean algebra, and this basically just, um, they use different symbols and stuff, but it all is fairly similar, so you should be able to get it fairly easy. So in the next video, we'll look at actually simplifying Boolean algebra. So we'll run through a few examples of um, just ways to simplify, and it will either be a very long video or a two-parter. So yeah, look out for that. Um, furthermore, we'll also do some stuff on Karnal maps as well, and that will just come under the simplification of Boolean algebra. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, please like and subscribe, and I'm out.